Today we play Super Mario 3D World, playing every level and collecting every green star and stamp in World 2. This is an amazing game, I'm so happy to be playing this, and I hope you enjoy this video. Let's take this clear pipe over here to World 2. We are now at a desert area, and so many games, so many Mario games have like the second world being a desert level. Okay. So there's a Sprixie over there. Today, we want to save the yellow Sprixie. Let's go to World 2-1, Conkdor Canyon. And I remember my first time ever playing this game and running across Conkdors, and I'm like, what in the world are these guys over here? Oh, that was cool, the way that I actually bounced on it like that. Okay, so we want to get up here, get this first green star right here, and if you don't have a super bell, you can actually jump up here and get a super bell over here. And these guys over here, Stingbees, they're some of the trickiest enemies to deal with. We've got these pointy noses that are very difficult to deal with. Okay, so let's continue across this way. Very nice. And we can also climb up here and go into this gold pipe here. And then we can get a bunch of coins if we want to. And it's very dangerous to go down there. You don't want to go down there. If you hit this, then this is pretty cool. The way that these coins, they go over this pit like this. And you can jump back and forth and try and collect a lot of coins like this. But you don't want to risk being there for too long to not fall down. But we've got a lot of lives, so that's not something that we really have to worry about. Okay, if you collect all those red coins, you get a power-up. I'm guessing probably a super bell. I can't remember if it's a super bell or a fire flower. Okay, let's be careful over here. Is there something up here? Okay, no, this just gives you a view of what is up ahead in the level. Okay, so let's make our way this way. Want to make it across here. Oh, man, it is giving me uh, memories of back when we played this with the floor is lava. That was so tricky. Okay, so let's see, where do we want to go? Let's go like this and dive here and climb here and dive here and get that guy. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We aren't Cat Mario anymore. This is not good. We've got to be careful. We need this guy to break this right here for us. Very nice because that's where the green star is. And you know what else we can do? Hold on, let's go like this. Let's take care of this guy first. And let's take care of this little bumblebee over here. And before we get that stamp, let's climb up here because there's something pretty cool up here. Some of you might have seen this before, or might have not seen this. If you hit this one, if you hit it enough times, then you get this power-up. And it's a question mark block power-up like this, so while you move, you keep collecting coins. Wait, wait, okay, yeah, I'm like, do I have that cat power-up active? I do. Okay, so we want to defeat that conctor. And we get this green star from Captain Toad, which is very nice. And our question mark block power-up is probably going to be used up soon. Let's make our way across like this. And can we make it? And there we go, top of the goal pole, very nice. Another level complete, very exciting. Okay, so now two levels are going to open up for us, actually. So that first level, we can see that there's a Bowser statue over there. And wait, 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 yeah, we could use Amiibo. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, this one's 2-3, so this one should be 2-2 first. We need at least 15 green stars. We have more than that because we've collected every single green star so far, so let's go here. Puff Prod Peaks, this is such a cool level. The music here is very nice, the colors are very nice, and the level design, it's a fun level design. You can play this course using touch controls. Okay, yeah, so we can go like this, and we can tap that, and then it climbs up like that, which is pretty cool. So let's see, but you actually don't need touch controls, at least not for that part, hold on, hold on. This one has something nice, right? I think this is the one with something nice, this is where we have to go down, let's see. Yeah, there is a warp box here. Where are we? Okay, we're over here. Let's go like this. Climb up here. Get this stamp. Very nice. Okay, so we've got the stamp. 369 seconds left. So let's make our way through here. Oh, oh, and over here. It is quite a bit easier if you do use touch controls here because then you could go like this and like that. And then we can climb up here. We can climb up here. Let's tap that. Very nice just so we don't miss it and there we go there we go okay checkpoint flag very nice and instead of waiting for that elevator to bring us up we could just climb up because we have the super bell power up okay let's go let's go let's go let's go across like this very nice oh no i tried to rush and because of that i lost my super bell power up oh no oh no hopefully we don't get killed by these little goombas let's go 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 nice now I'm going to over there and into the cloud. There we go. Very nice. Okay. We're in the cloud. We're in the cloud bonus area. Okay. And you know what? This superstar power up is actually important because we are little Mario right now. So if somebody hurts us, then we're dead. We've got to be a little careful here. 
And give me that green star. There we go. We got the green star. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. 269 seconds left now. Very nice. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can I do this? Can I tap him and freeze him? I don't want to get bitten by you. Do not bite me. Okay. And hold on. One of these over here has a uh, power up. Okay. It's this one. Okay, I'm a little worried about that guy. Okay. There we go. There you go. There you go. We are safe. Err now. I was gonna say safe, but we are not completely safe. We are just safe err. And here is the final green star for us, which is absolutely lovely. Now we can get up here, jump across this way, go like this. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Don't bite me, please. No biting. Oh, great. This is a little scary over here. Little, little scary. Okay, let's go like this. When you're using touch controls with this, there's a lot to, uh, a lot to keep in mind. Okay, and we don't have the super bell power up, so we should play this way. We should go like this, like that, then let's go here. And now we need the top of the goal pole. Let's go and please get the top. Yeah, we got it. All right, even though we're little Mario, we are safe over here. Very nice. Little Mario clears a level. Okay, so we can continue up there, but first, let's see what is in this pipe right here. It is a toad house over here. Okay, so in the last world, we picked the little box. So in this world, we will pick the big box, even though it shouldn't make a difference, and the big box gives us... Oh my goodness, we actually got the big reward. That's so funny. Okay, so that's good. So let's get out of here. Okay, so very nice. We got that. Now, we can leave this place because we got our nice power-ups. So we are not Little Mario anymore. And now, we can go to Shadow Play Alley over here. World 2-3. And this is a super, super cool level. I like this level a lot. Oh my goodness. And this is reminding me, oh man, this level was absolutely unbelievable in the floor is lava. Okay, so there's our first green star. Let's go across this way. We can grab the piranha plant over here. Eat those guys as we go along. Now, what's in here? Uh, just coins, okay, eat them. Let's go. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Checkpoint flag. You served us well, piranha plant. Goodbye. Okay, now this section over here is super cool. The way that you're in the shadows like this. And the way that this level is actually designed is super, super interesting. Okay, bounce on him, very nice. Okay, defeat him, very nice, okay. Now then, let's uh, throw that guy over here. We can break through there, get this stamp. And the way that this level is designed is super, super interesting because this, sometimes when you play this level, you might end up in a situation like this where you think that you're walking towards the door and you're like, why can I not open the door? And it's actually because this section is a little bit 3D. So if you move up and down a bit while going to the right, then you can go through. I've shown that in some past videos before. It's super cool the way that it works. Okay, so let's get through here. Eat them all, please. Please eat all of them. What are these called? For some reason, I want to say that they're called blurkers. I can't remember if that's right or if blurkers are something else. Okay, well, let's go through here. And can we just go like this? Wait, do I have to hit the button for the green star to spawn? I don't know if you have to hit the button for the green star to spawn, but that's really weird that the green star wasn't there when I checked there. Maybe I just missed the green star. Maybe I actually have to hit the button. Okay, but before we exit through that door, we're gonna go back here, and we are going to defeat Bowser over here! And because of that, Captain Toad has a prize for us. And the prize is a lovely green star, the final green star of the level. So now we can exit through here, and get me up there! Get me up there, get me up there, no, no, okay, get me up here, okay, very nice, very nice, very nice, we did make it up here. Oh, hold on, and something interesting, hold on, let me show you guys, because we have some time. Are there invisible coins up on the roof? Yeah, up on the roof, there are invisible coins. Oh, look at this, if you hold the crouch button while you're on the roof, you slide off like this, and the way that you slide is super interesting, it's very interesting that you slide slowly like that. Okay, so now, we just need the top of the goal pole, and, ah, go up, go up, go up, okay, thank goodness we have the super bell power up. Because with the super bell power-up, you can climb up while you're on the goal pole. Because if I didn't climb up, that wouldn't have been the top of the goal pole, and we would have had to do the entire level all over again. But thank goodness we got that. Okay, so another level complete. We are up to 33 green stars. And hold on, how many total green stars are there in the game? I think there are like 380, maybe, if I remember correctly. Okay, so we're going in here. This is a stamp house. Very easy. All we have to do is collect the stamp. And that's all that you have to do for the level. And now we can just leave. What a nice little level. The lighting there is very nice. Okay, so now this level has been permanently cleared. So now we can go to over here. World 2-4, really rolling hills. Oh, and there's also a mystery house. That'll be exciting. 
All right, so let's go. Really Rolling Hills, World 2-4. This is such a nice one. This is a very nice level, okay? And you have to be Mario in this level if you want to get everything because that button can only be pressed by Mario. So the next green star, well actually the first green star is right up here. Now hold on, I think the next two green stars are just uh, in the next two sections. So we can just skip that whole bottom part over there. Nothing good in here that we need, right? Yeah, just Goombas, okay. Then we can climb up here. I don't think we're missing anything because I think both of the green stars that we need are going to be in here, right? Yeah, all the green stars that we need are going to be in here. So we can go up here, we can go this way. Ah, oh, there they are, Goombas! Ah, oh, there are spiky guys! And you can head up here, and there are lots of coins over here. Actually, not that many coins, but there are a few coins there. Okay, so we want to go into this pipe right over here. And, oh boy, I had a video that was all about this room. It's like, I filled this room with 999 Goombas, and instead of there being two baseballs, I made it like 999 baseballs, and I dropped down all the baseballs to see like, can the baseballs defeat all the Goombas? Oh, we missed this one spot. Okay, so you want to light up every single spot. And then, a green star appears for you. Oh, and fun fact, in the game's files, this area is called the Doremi Zone. Like, Doremi Fasola Tita. Which is like, what you sing. And it's funny that when you step on those tiles, they play different notes, just like singing. Okay, so let's make our way out of here. This was a super fast level, but oh man, this was another really cool level in the floors level. Okay, okay, so we've got everything. We just gotta be careful here. Just gotta get to the top of the goal pole, and there we go, we got it. Very nice, another level fully complete. This is actually, uh, it seems like this is gonna be a pretty fast world. All right, so we've got a mini boss fight over here before the final level and before the boss level. And we also have the mystery house level after that. Okay, so let's do big Galimba blockade first. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Everyone has been defeated, very nice. And there's our green star. Nice fast level, took about nine seconds to do that one, very nice. All right, so this has been cleared. We get one green star for that and we get to continue along. And these look like Bowser footprints over here. Okay, before we go to Double Cherry Pass, let's do Mystery House Melee. I don't know if I was saying Melee or Melee earlier, because when I grew up, I always called this Melee. I'm like, let's play Super Smash Bros. Melee. That's what I always said, but it's apparently pronounced Melee. All right, so let's see, here's the first level. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good, okay, we were able to get the green star in time. Okay, so this is kind of like a, Kind of like a speedrun level in some sense. Because what you want to do is defeat the enemies and get the green star before the timer runs out. Okay, let's go. Very nice. That was a nice fast one. And okay, we already have a super well and a super well in storage, so don't have to worry about that one. Uh-oh, accidentally bonked there. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Go, go, get the green star, get the green star. Okay, very nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought that was the last one for some reason, but there's still one more. Fire bros! Fire bros! have been defeated and we got everything. Let's go. All right, there we go. All right, Double Cherry Pass is up next. And then after that, it is just the castle. Oh wait, but first, hold on, hold on. Why don't we go get that hidden one-up mushroom over there? Okay, and first let's hit this block right here. Very nice, we got a coin and this one should have, if I can hit it, has nothing in it. If you want that mushroom on the world map, you can actually go over here and get it like this. And it's actually so cool that stuff like this is hidden on the world map. And then, wait, oh, and you can go around this way. Wait, can you? Okay, yeah, and it looks like we can go around this way, but unfortunately you can't jump up to there. And I actually had a video where I made a level that you play on the world map instead of in an actual level. That was a super cool challenge to make. I've never seen anything like that before. I thought it'd be a cool idea to make something like that, so I made that video. It was a really fun video. So here we are, world 2-5. Double Cherry Pass. All right, so, for those of you that haven't seen Double Cherries before, the way that it works is when you collect one, you now have a Mario clone. And if either you or your clone gets hit, then you lose your clone. And for us, it's very important that we don't lose our clones, actually. Okay, so let's be careful here. Let's be careful here. We gotta be careful to not lose our clones. And we wanna make sure that we don't miss anything. Okay, good, 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 got that guy. Okay, let's climb up here. Let's work together, everybody. Okay, very nice, we got that. Now wait, is there a, uh-oh, uh-oh, stay close, everybody. Okay, there's the green star. I'm like, yeah, there's a green star around here somewhere. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Is this another fire flower? I don't want the fire flower, so we'll continue up like this. Let's 
go like this together, everybody. Let's go, and everyone will go through the pipe. All three cat Marios. Very nice. And now, gotta kinda, gotta kinda be careful around these guys over here, because they can cause some trouble. So you know what? Let's skip, ah, pass them, go, 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 go. Okay, very nice, very nice. And you can hit both of those switches at the same time. Then you can get another green star, which is lovely. Okay, and we're going to want to go through this one on the right, because the one on the left just makes you go in a circle like that. Okay, so we've got a few things so far, so this is good. So let's climb up here. They've got another double cherry to give us. Okay, and, oh, oh, oh this is actually what we want to do. What we want to do is actually uh, send one person up there, or we can just go like that, that's fine. That's fine. If you don't have the cat power up, and you can send one clone up here, and then the other clones will just jump and uh, make them climb up there. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Stay away from me, block steppers. Stay away from me. Do I want to take that other double cherry? I think I do. Let's see. Defeat them! Defeat them! Swipe! Stay back. They're going mad. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, get that! I want that power up, I want that power up. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I'm not. I don't even care for getting these, but you know what, we will get it. Ah, stay back, stay back. Okay, good, 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 okay. So you get a fire flower if you get all those uh, red coins. Oh, give me this. I need that double cherry. I need that double cherry. Bro, we're stomping you, bro. There we go. And there we go, we now have five Marios. Stay back, stay back, stay back, bro. Stay back, bro. Very nice, okay. Now then, let's be careful with these five cat Marios that we have. Make our way up here. Gotta be careful with that guy. Don't want to get hit by that guy. Go! Oh, yes, we got him. We got him. We got him. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, hold on. If I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, you can climb up here, but I don't think that there's anything important up here. Just kind of surprising. You'd think that they would put something up there, like a, a green star or a stamp, because that's such a good hiding spot. Okay, but let's go down here. So if one of them go down the pipe, everyone else is also teleported here. And the reason that you want at least four is because you get a bunch of people on here, then you can do this. But I think if you have the cat power up, then you don't even need all of these guys. You could just like climb up with the cat Marios and then drop and climb up again and then jump to the green star like that. But we did get all of our Cat Marios, and there we go. We can finish the level now perfectly. Got all the green stars, and the stamp, and all the double cherries. And we got a lot of points for that, which is very nice. So there is another stamp for our collection. In this level, you get Fire Princess Peach, which is pretty cool. And now we have 45 green stars, and we are going to have access to the World 2 castle, to the boss of World 2. Oh! And another one of those up here, but you know what? We don't need that. You know what? Let's do it though, let's do it though. Let's just see if we can match up everything. Ah, uh, I did the same thing in the last world where I got three of them to match up and then the last one ended up being a boomerang instead of a double cherry. I'm pretty sure the exact same thing happened in the last video, that's so funny. Okay. Not that we need the lives, because I'm pretty sure we have maximum lives anyways. So what we are going to do is head to the World 2 castle now. Bowser's Bullet Bill Brigade. And this one is actually an auto-scroller level, so we're gonna be careful here. Okay, Capmar goes into the cannon, there's a Sprixy there watching us as we get fired off, he's waving goodbye to us. We are launched towards these tanks over here. Okay, and we don't have to worry about those block steppers over there. Let's just have a look at what stuff might be up here. Fire flower. No, I'll keep the I'll keep the cat power up instead. The cat power up's pretty great. Don't want to get hit by those bullet bills over there. Let's make our way over here. Anything in here? Anything in this crate? Okay, almost got hit by the bullet bill and lost our super bell power up, but we didn't, so that's good. Now then, what's going on over here? You know what? Let's grab this power up. Why not get this? Let's, 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 let's just get it. There we go. Okay, and if you hold the run button, then you charge up a powerful shot. Okay, and if you get all eight of those red coins, then you get a fire flower like that. Okay, and let's not lose this ability. I gotta be careful to not get hit by these guys. Okay, there we go. Okay, and they were all defeated. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so some of those piranha plants, they shoot fire at you from a distance. They shoot little fireballs at you, so that's a little scary. 
And what we want to do is be careful over here. Not get damaged by those spikes or by those uh, bullet bills that are coming out also. So let's see, let's see. We gotta keep an eye out, gotta keep an eye out over here. And wait, 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 wait. Very nice. There's a green star right over there for us. So we got that one, which is great. Now then, let's just shoot these guys. Uh-oh, one's alive! Okay, nice, nice, nice. Did that. Okay, now let's just break through here. Very nice. And let's see. Now then, there's a stamp to collect right over here. And you want to be fast because this is an auto-scroller level. So if you miss your chance and you just won't be able to get it then. Okay, and let's be careful around these guys. We don't have to deal with them. If you attack one of them, then they all go crazy and they all start chasing you. But we're not going down this pipe yet. And it's a good thing we didn't lose this ability because now we can hit that and get the green star, which is fantastic. And we can also bring this power up to the boss fight over here, which will be very exciting. And our boss fight is boom, boom. And you know what? I just recently played through uh, Bowser's Fury again, and there's a cool boom, boom boss fight in that. And this one, it seems a little bit easier than that because in the previous boom, boom boss fight, oh no, oh wow, I thought that we'd get hit there for sure. Okay, yeah, in the in the Bowser's Fury Boom Boom boss fight, in one of the levels, you have to face him where the floor is spikes. Okay, so let's go like this. Where is he coming? Coming over here. And there we go. We got him. All right. Bam! How you like that? How you like that? Okay, and we already do have everything, right? Yeah, we have the three green stars and the stamp which is very nice, and we have got a yellow Sprixie to save now. In the desert, there's a yellow Sprixie to save. So let's just pop up here, get up here, and we need the top of that goal pole right there. So let's go like this, and there we go, we got it, very nice. We saved another Sprixie. And the enemy, oh, and the jar just shatters. And we've got a very nice animation that plays here where Mario dances around like this. He has a bigger celebration than normal for clearing this course. Because we saved this Sprixie. I like how the color of this Sprixie matches our cat outfit. And we get a Boom Boom sticker for that. That's pretty cool. So, another world is complete. 48 green stars. We should have absolutely everything up until this point. And here comes the Sprixie. The yellow Sprixie with its little yellow hammer. And it is going to build a clear pipe for us to go to world 3. So far, the game has been super easy, but I think some of the later levels might become a bit more difficult. Even though I've played like some hard mode mods and like a lot of custom levels of this that were super difficult, I think some of the later levels might still be a little difficult. So thank you so much for watching. It is gonna be so much fun to 100% complete this game. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day ahead of you and take care, everybody.